Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty, and I'm excited that you're here with me today to talk hormone replacement therapy. Yes, that's right. In the comments section, many of you have asked me what I've done for HRT, as it's called, since I am well past menopause. And my journey is an interesting one with regard to hormone replacement because I started menopause at the age of about 53 years old. I had no more periods after one year, and that is the mark of menopause when you are one year past your last period. And at that point, I thought I should go on HRT. And at the first of my career, I worked in a holistic medical center called the Garvey Center here in Wichita. And so I always like to do things as naturally as possible. So I went to a doctor who prescribed bioidentical hormones in the form of a trochee. And what a trochee is, is it comes in a little box and it's mixed with wax or something like that, something that melts in your mouth. And it's just little squares of your mix of hormones, which is progesterone and estrogen. And then you take half of a little square of the trochee and put it between your teeth and your gums and you let it dissolve in the morning and the evening. And I tried to do that maybe five times from age 53 to 60. And every time I would do that, before you know it, I would get tearful, I would get angry, I would get puffy, I would just be miserable. And I, and I just could not deal with all that excess emotion and anger. And every time I would take them, half the time I wouldn't tell my husband because he was never in favor of them because he saw what they did to my mood. And even before I told him I was taking them each time, he would usually say, are you on those hormones again? Because you're acting like an angry, crazy woman. It was like when I had PMS in my first half, which I had terrible PMS, but it was like I was living in PMS full time. It was just not good. And so although I kept trying them, I would go off of them and I just could not deal with the anger, the irritability, the weight gain, plus the trochees were not covered by insurance. So it was $75 a month. And I got really tired of taking them when I didn't see any positive results. I just saw a lot of anger and you know, it just was not good. And really my hot flashes after about the first year of menopause, I had them somewhat, but not horrible. So I could just kind of grin and bear it and get through them. Well, fast forward to when I turned 60 about a year ago, I started for some reason getting the hot flashes again at night. And also I noticed that my skin was getting horrible. I was looking in the rear view mirror and I could see like a myriad of wrinkles here on either lower cheek. And I thought that wasn't there six months ago, what's going on? And I really realized that I wanted the HRT both for the hot flashes that were increasingly starting to disrupt my sleep and also to protect my skin. And so maybe about three months ago, I started watching Barbara Hoffman's YouTube channel, and I will link a couple of her videos below, one on bioidentical hormones made simple, and the second one on do you need estrogen? And I learned a lot from watching her channel. And one thing I learned is that there are several ways to get hormone replacement therapy. You can either take pills or trochies, so it's oral HRT, or you can use hormone patches or creams. And actually that is the safest way to ingest your hormones because when you take your hormones orally, they have to be processed through the liver and you lose a lot of the hormone and also being processed through the liver, that can cause some other problems. And the studies show that one of the safest ways to get your hormone replacement therapy is through the patches or creams. And when I started watching Barbara's channel, she really recommended a couple of different creams. And this is not the brand she recommended, but they're exactly the same type. The first is this progesterone cream and it is known as a bioidentical hormone. In fact, both of these are because these hormones are exactly like the hormones that your body makes. In the case of the progesterone cream, this is made from soy. And in the case of the estrogen cream, this is made from red clover. And basically what you do is twice a day, you rub a little bit of this cream on your forearms or behind your knees or on an area where you have a lot of capillaries near your surface, like your neck. And what I do is I take a quarter teaspoon of this cream. It's about a dime size amount. Here is how it looks just looks like a little cream there. And then I have not done it this morning, so I'll go ahead and do this. You just rub it on your forearm or on an area where your skin is rather thin and the capillaries are close to the surface. And within a minute, the hormone that is in this cream sinks into the skin and you can just get rid of the excess cream on your skin because it's really not hormone filled anymore after about a minute. And you do the quarter teaspoon twice a day. And I started doing this about three months ago. And then with regard to the estrogen, you use a half a teaspoon, and I'm not going to add this right now because I only do this once a day. 
but you use half a teaspoon supposedly twice a day, again rubbed on any of those areas where the capillaries are close to the surface. I only use it once a day though because that was enough for me to get rid of the hot flashes, which I really appreciated. And one thing that I have noticed since I've started using both of these creams is that those little wrinkles I was getting really are gone from my skin. All of a sudden my skin looks much more hydrated, much more dewy. I'm just really happy with how these creams are affecting my skin. And also, of course, I'm very happy that I'm sleeping better because I'm not having the hot flashes at night like I once was. And the interesting thing is about these creams is that I took them to my OBGYN and I really trust him. And he's a typical traditional OBGYN and he prescribes the normal HRT. And I was really surprised, but he looked at both of these and he said, these are absolutely fine. It's giving you the correct dosage that you need. It's not overdosing you on either one. And he said, these creams will work just fine. So that was a look at what I'm doing in terms of my BHRT, which is bioequivalent hormone replacement therapy. And so far, so good. I'm very, very happy with the results. And I really can't believe that I'm over 60 and finally found out what works for me, but I'm really happy to be on these creams and things appear to be going very well. Now, I do have to preface everything I've said by telling you that this is just my own little journey. I am not a doctor. I'm not telling you what to do, what not to do. And I think it's always important for you to visit your healthcare professional and see what he or she thinks is right for you. Now, if you're 50 plus and you're interested in all things anti-aging, all things to do with our second half, then I hope you'll subscribe and click that little bell to receive emails of my future videos. And if you could give this video a thumbs up, I would appreciate that too. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day and we'll see what God has in store for us to think about for today. Waiting patiently, waiting patiently. Today, I will wait patiently if waiting is the action I need in order to take care of myself. I know that I'm taking positive, forceful action by waiting until the time is right. God, help me let go of my fear, urgency, and panic. Help me learn the art of waiting. Oh, friends, I absolutely love this card, and certainly in the first half, waiting was very, very hard for me to do. I'm not really a very patient person, but in my second half, I think I have gotten a little bit better about this because I realized that all things in God's time. So friends, just for today, let's realize that waiting is often the best course of action. Instead of just rushing in and just jumping into any form of action, let's stand back, evaluate, and wait because sometimes waiting is the best thing we can do. Take care. See you next time.